<laughs> Happy Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. How's it going? If you are, we just kind of, I usually just have to wait a minute. <laughs> Till it decides and to just, catch up with us. Yes, <laughs> allow it to be able to see what it is that we're doing. Dun, 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 dun. And then it'll pop up. There we go. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Vanessa. Hi, friends. So, happy Monday. Welcome. And if you've never tuned in and seen us before, we are with a maker studio. Hey, Lori. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Brenda. My name is Amy, and I'm here with Michelle. And we were just saying before we went live how we are incredibly jazzed about today. You're going to die. I mean... We are talking about so many new things. You're going to be really, really excited. It's like a super launch. It is. It's like a, <laughs> today's a super launch. A super launch. And I need it's to tell. Just I need to tell marketing. Stencil. They'd be like, it's super, super launch. All right. So not only do we have a brand new stencil that we are in love, and we have so many cute projects that you're going to love. We also have our new totes. Ah. Look at this. Who doesn't love bees? Look at this. Look, 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 look. Hey, Be Diane, kind. it's so good to see you too. Look at this. There's so many cute, fun projects that you can do it. with this. Mm -hmm. And here's the deal. We, we said this because I went in the back and people were like, we're out of the bee stencil. Like, that we just launched last week. Like, oh. So, oh. I'm just going to let you know. Buy it. If you, if, if we are showing you. <laughs> if you want it, you need to you, get it now. If we're showing you a stencil that you really like, you need to get it when you see it. <laughs> Because we are selling out of our stencil so fast. Um, I know, we launched that one last Monday. So yes. in a week, it's all gone. Yes, <laughs> yes. It was nuts. Totally nuts. It's because you guys love it so much. I know, because I really... I mean, I love that one. I, I'm not going to lie. I think we have some of the prettiest... We have beautiful we have, stencils. We have beautiful, beautiful stencils. Designs. And all the different projects and things that yeah, you can do. So this one is absolutely fabulous. But guess what else we've got today? Look at this. We have our new totes in. Oh, they're so yummy. Which I want to show you. So yummy. I was talking to Michelle. One, I have, um, I, you can call me the bag lady because <laughs> I have my laptop, my notebooks. Yes. She all does my stuff, always carry a lot of things. And it needs to be big enough. And carry all look at the this. Things. Look at this. Is this the cutest? Same tote I just showed you, y'all. So we're, we're going to show, show you, how to you yes, we're going to show you how to create this look today. Look at this. But here's the other thing. I love the fact that we go to the, um, no, it's not sold out no for good. good, but it's sold out for a while for <laughs> until we get it back in. Um, but we will be bringing that one back. But yes. it was incredibly popular. Y'all loved it. But the thing is, I don't, do you go to the farmer's market? I probably will. But you um, go to Aldi. I go to Aldi a lot. So you I have a lot of places where I have to bag my own stuff. So here it is. You want to be able to have this cute, cute, so cute. tote bag. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about it is, you, I don't know if you can really tell, but it gets see, real wide. it gets really, really big. So it's not one of those mamsy pamsy ones. Is that tacky? No. Nope. Mamsy pamsy. It pops out. And it's, it's huge. Good, square. So it really allows you. To, put a lot to be of able stuff to put a ton of stuff in here. You can go grocery shopping. I go to Whole Foods. I yes. can put everything on my trip in this bag. Ooh, and Trader Joe's. You can use your own bag. Trader too. Trader mm -hmm. Joe's. So this one, it's so it's so, so big. Good. You really can't see the see it's the edges. Big. Look at this. It's really big, and it's at the bottom, but it's gusseted so that way it's big enough. It's great looking. Great. All right, so. We are introducing this new stencil. We're introduce. We're going to show you several different projects. What else are we going to show them? That we're going to show you that you can do with this. But also, look at this. Are you ready? Do look at this. <laughs> Y'all look. It's like a little pen. So we for have all those corners. <laughs> we are introducing. We're really excited about this. We're introducing all of our new tools. That we have a I need to get my laptop over here so that way I can make sure that y'all are seeing Look, things right. The regular one and then the slat side angled one. We're loving them. So we've got a multi angle, we've got our wedge, and then we have our stylus. And so these new so tools exciting. are gonna be great <laughs> to allow you to be able to really burnish and work with your projects mm -hmm. and get better application 
we're excited about this. This has taken so long for us to be able to design these and get these done. And so there are brand new products that we're going to be working with every awesome. day and showing you how to use them. So, so awesome. um, guess what? <gasps> Look. Yes. Shared and tagged through Debbie. Friends. Debbie knows, she knows Debbie knows what's going do. on. So here's the deal. Today's big. Today's a big, 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 big day. day. Because we have this new stencil and we have our new, new totes, totes and we have all of our tools. new tools. Guess what? Yes, you guessed it. No. Yes. You're gonna do it all. Yes. <gasps> if you share this video and you tag three friends. You get. We're gonna give away the stencil, all these tools. And a tote. And a tote bag. Ah. Yes. That, that we should call this Amy Goes Wild. <laughs> That's right. Amy goes crazy. Amy goes wild. Amy goes crazy. So we are excited because what it does, it allows you to be able to, um, thank you for sending the love. Look at Lynn. That's right. Um, share, and sharing with your friends too, because we're going to show you how to um, basically paint age your tote. Do you know what I need to go do? What? Get me some gloves or else I won't be able to do any of the other projects. Oh yeah, go do that. I'll be right back, Go grab friends. some gloves. <laughs> so, hey, Cynthia. All right, so we're gonna take you through to be, a <laughs> to be able to go through and show you how to create the look on this tote. It's so cute because to be able to go from this, which is okay, it's okay, but it's not fabulous to something that you can really enjoy, which we were saying, because I wear so much black and gray to be able to make this adorable tote, to be able to get your groceries and go to Aldi or go to the farmer's market and everything. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. So cute. Um, All right, so we've just got so many things that we're going over today. We're, we're like ecstatic. It's so We fun. love days like today. So and just, I'll just show you at some of these other ones. Look at this. So, I love that. is this the cutest? This is just a simple little honey jar that we got. Now, it's cute like this. It is. But it's not this cute. Mm -hmm. Look at this. So, we used it. It's part of this stencil that we were able to use to really make it from okay to fabulous. Ah. Then that would also be cute etched since it's glass. Yes. It's like definitely. Yes, it totally would. Way. Look at this. So cute. Such a cute towel. Um, love this. And these are Target hacks. Mm -hmm. These are things that we got at Target. And then look at this. So this is just a really cute rolling pin that we used the B on. It's got the black end. Which is a great thing to be able to display. Yeah. This is such a cute little it's display so in your kitchen. So I love getting cute. those salt glaze containers. I can't, I can't wait. This is for ah! Amy Howard. But I, we bought a chest, you know, on Monday mornings, you get the best deals at estate sales. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. um, late Sunday and Monday morning. And so Jean and I had seen this 18th century chest oh. at this estate sale this weekend. And we called the guy with the estate sale because we went by yesterday and it wasn't available. So we played it cool. Like it was no big deal. No big you deal. You didn't really want it. And we texted him this morning and we were able to get it 65% off. So I'm Yay! gonna be showing I'm gonna be showing everybody how to um, how to strip it and how to bleach it. And why did I bring that up? Now I can't remember. But something um, it had something to do to with, do with, what, with we're what, what we were doing now. So <laughs> I don't know. It'll come That's back so to you eventually. Sad. Oh my gosh, it's that so sad. But we hope everybody's having a fabulous Monday because we've got tons of stuff to do. We're excited. Are we ready? Yeah. All right, so we starting? let's go on and take our, let's show them how to, um, how to dye. dye the bag. Got it. All right, so let's do this. So as you, as you pop on here, please say hey, send us some love and uh, sprinkle. And then, um, you want to be able to be sure and share this video. If you've yes. never, ever shared a video, you want to share this video share today. Share the video. Tag because three friends. your name will go on for a drawing, and we're going to be giving away all these tools, the stencil, and, and the, the tote. tote bag. So you, you need to lot. be sharing is caring, but you this is a real opportunity. Um, hey, Margie. Hey, Pat. All right, so I'm going to turn this down. Continue to say hey. And I'm going to stand and up. And we're so going to show you how to create this because this is going to make a 
fabulous bag you're that you're going to want. It. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. All right, so I'm going to, I don't need to turn this down a Not whole too lot. Far because I'm just, there we go. All right. All right, friends, I just have a tub of water. It's got about 24 ounces of water in it. The tote is dry, but I want to get it completely saturated first because the dye is going to take better. So I'm just going to put it in the water and make sure that I get it good and wet and wet. Now I am using gloves simply because I have more projects to do after this and I don't want paint on my hands. But the one that I dyed in house, I did not wear gloves. Um, we're going to use Amy Howard one step paint. It is non toxic. So you can do it with your hands or you can wear gloves if you've got more projects to do after that. And guys, if you can learn, this is all about learning a skill. Absolutely. So we have our pillows, but any type of muslin canvas bag, we do have these on the website now. Um, these are fantastic because of going Absolutely. to Aldi and the farmer's market and Whole Foods and everywhere. But you don't want just a plain cream tote bag. No, and you, you can want it to be cute. Any of the one step colors. Okay, so that I'm just wringing out the water. Now I'm gonna use the same water. We say four to one when you're dying, depending on if you want it darker or heavier. We're using Good Man is Hard to Find, and it's a dark gray. I'm just set that over there for a second. And I have eight ounces in this um, pint jar, but we have, yep, yeah, we have, that would be two of the babies that you can order on a AMS. Maker Studio. Um, and we're doing four to one. So I'm just gonna pour that in all of that water. I'm gonna make sure and let that settle in. This. Let me turn this down. It's really fun. More. And I'm gonna stir it with my hands and make sure I get it good and mixed in. Because I don't want any, I mean, it doesn't matter if there's clumping at the bottom, it's gonna make darker spots on your um, canvas bag. So it's better if you have it all mixed in, and sometimes that's way easier to do with your hands. Like I can feel where the paint is in the bottom of the tub. So it's four to one, guys. Mm -hmm. Four to one. And this will dye so many totes. You could probably buy, you could probably dye 10 totes with as much as I made for you guys to be able to see it. <laughs> yeah, and what's great about this is a lot of you have Etsy shops mm -hmm. and you're selling things. This would be a great, 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 great thing to be able to sell. Yes. And you're only gonna need four parts water, one part paint. Yep. And so if you remember that four to one ratio, it, that way you'll be really good to go all the time. And what's really cool is this is not just for totes. So like you, we've taught you guys before how to do tea, um, the tea towels, anything can be, you can even dye white t-shirts. Yes. So yes. don't think that you've made this paint and now you don't have enough totes to dye. Find something else. <laughs> dye all the things. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and put this in the water and just let it soak in the paint. And you see how it soaked it in really fast compared to when I put the tote in there in the water. That's why we wet it. And guys, if you're just now popping on, it's really important that you know, we fully immersed the tote bag into the water before- Before we, we put tried it to in dye the paint. it. Mm -hmm. Now, you can kind of make designs in your tote, depending on how you wring it out. So you can wring it out like this, where it's gonna be more striped, or you can literally wring it out by kind of wadding it up, and that's gonna give it different kinds of wrinkles in the fabric. It just depends on how you want your tote to look. But think tie-dyeing. You get the markings in the tie-dye based on where you put the rubber bands. You're gonna get the markings in the fabric based on where or how you wring it out where the wrinkles are or where you're gonna get the depth in your tote. Not fun? So to just kind of scrunch it up. You can scrunch it up. You can twist it and wring it. You could do it like this. And that's what's gonna give you the markings that really kind of looks like a vintage yes. bag. It almost looks it like gives leather. It character. It really does. It will give it some character. All right, so we are gonna basically, you can put this on a clothesline, you can hang this over something. Absolutely. You wanna make sure that you've got something to kind of absorb that paint. Yep. Um, and now, we have one that we did right before we went live. Now, you'll notice that the one that we're showing you which I absolutely adore, is this one that we've already got finished. And then we're gonna take you through the steps, but see what a yummy gray color this is. 
and it could go with anything. It's really something, if you look about matching your clothes, mm -hmm. but this is using a good man is hard to find. Yes. That's the color that we use. And if you want to be able to do the four to one, um, like we did, you would need two of the little, the small containers of the one-step paint. Guys, this is permanent. This will not wash out. It will out. not wash out. So it's absorbed. So you can do this on pillows. You can do this on anything that is a fibrous material that um, doesn't, it's not sealed with anything. Nope. All right. Any natural fiber will take it. All right, so now our bag is dry. And ready. And ready. We are going to cut. Will you hand me the scissors, my friend? Yes, ma'am. We are going to cut the top of the stencil. Remember, we give you cut lines. So that's what we're going to do is just take advantage of this cut line right here and cut the top part of this stencil off because this is the whole design for our tote bag. And guys, if you're just now popping on, because I'm seeing the people that are viewing, we this is our brand new um, May Your Words Be Like Honey stencil. So cute. So fun, so cute, but also still encouraging. And so about be kind. And there's so many cute projects that we're gonna show you how you can do today with the stencil. And we just said, we're selling out of our stencil so quickly. If you like this, you need to order it. Yeah, don't miss out. Don't miss out. All right, so we are gonna lay that down. Look, I'm gonna use my new squeegee and make sure that rubs down really good on that fabric. <laughs> see how fun it is to play with new tools? If you can see my smile right now, y'all, I'm like, ee! Little kid in the candy store with new toys. And we have a special um, on the bundle with our new tools with our stylus, our multi-angle, and our um, single. When it's kind of crinkled, yes, you gotta really press it in Well, there. and it's a heavy textured linen. I wanna make sure it's good and on there so I don't go up under it. All right, friends, we are using Can't Never Could, which is black, and our metallic copper to do this design. And actually, I'm gonna look at our samples so I do the right ones. And guys, our metallic inks are absolutely oh, so to die for. I'm looking so at this on this pretty. tote that you can see, so pretty. you can see the met metallic on it. So you see the strategy that we've got, we're gonna be doing the crown, um, the leaves on either side of the bee. And what are these things called? I, I'm, it's, uh, I know, but what are they I called? I don't know, it's just the little honey stick. The little honey sticks on either side, which is so cute. Oh and then God, the word honey. they're called. So we're gonna do that in the copper metallic ink, which is gonna look so cute. And, you see how we came on his little rear end? Whoop, or, whoop, um, whoop. I lost the lid. <laughs> how we did that to be able to bring a little bit more detail. Is that not the cutest? So if you're just now popping on, this is the extravaganza today. We are it's giving so away the fun. stencil, the tools, and a tote bag for you to be able to do your own project. And we're really pumped about this. It's super exciting. I'm using a little one because I only have one to do the black. Um, use this. To do what? This. Okay. So that way now you've got, it's just small. Little. It's little. I get You're not way. having to work it like that anymore. <laughs> Twist you my hands in those hands. directions. <laughs> see? I do see. I have to get used to new things. I like the way it bends in my hand. So the great thing about these are very flexible. Um, and we're we do, while we're calling them squeegees, this is more of a stylus. So it allows you to be able to get into details. You know, where we've always had our, our spreaders that we had to yes. kind of cut up and they were kind of small. This way you can work with two colors. This, can, this end can, can be, be one, one color. And the other one can be another. Correct. So that nice. way you could come back and do the black on that stripe and you're not having to clean your tool. So they're reusable. We can just clean them with soap and water, whatever it is the tool that we've got. Makes it so easy and so fun. So cute. Are y'all not loving this bag? I just too, I also feel it's responsible now for us to take our bags into places so we're not using plastic. So much plastic. Yes. Like. 
so cute. Guys, too, we're gonna show you, um, look at this. This is my little honey jar. Is this the cutest? This stencil has so much versatility. It really does. So many different projects that you can do that we're gonna show you. But I, I love the fact that we've got our new totes again. These were the totes that we had before and we literally sold out. And so they and were so popular. Great, because they're not stark white, but they're just like a natural color. Yes. So they take any pigment so well. Yeah, and because um, a lot a lot of the bags that I've seen other places, they're too small. These are big enough. They're big. I needed something big enough that I could go to the grocery store and I could throw all my stuff in here. And I love, too, the fact that it's an encouraging message. Yes. May your words be like honey, but yet it's just so cute. I love bees. I love crowns. I love leaves. All I think everybody things. does. Actually, I'm going to take this. Can I put some black on here? Yep. Do you have another glass tile? So I'm going to add just a little bit of black. Yeah, I was thinking black would be way easier on the big stuff. Which is super exciting. I love that squeegee. It goes so fast. And I used it, I used it last week when I was working on the border and finished up the... Um, what, are, what was I working on Friday? Thursday? Yeah, Friday. What That's was I been a day on? ago. Don't ask me. Like, what's that thing called? Which one? The one that we did the border on. That thing, that piece of furniture. Oh, the Demi Loan. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Like, oh, my gosh. If y'all didn't see our Facebook Live on Friday, you need to go back and watch it. Because we did the cutest Demi Loan in our office with our um, Greek key and our rolling coin. And it was so cute. You want me to finish the black? You can. I just wanted to play a little bit. She's like, I just want to do it. Here's All the right, black Frank. ink. So we're doing a combo of the black and the gold ink on our brand new um, tote that you see with our brand new B kind stencil that we are in love with. It is so Hey great. guys, so as you pop on here, please say hey. We love going back and seeing that later. It's hard for us to be able to see your names, but we love to know who's watching and send us some love. And um, you've got to share this video because this is going to be... It's a great giveaway. It's the biggest giveaway we've ever done <laughs> with the tote, all of the tools, and the bee stencil. So all day Monday, all day Tuesday. Um, I don't know, but here it's like you feel like you're being so responsible when you take your bags in. And then if you don't, you're carrying plastic out. It's like, oops, loser. <laughs> you're not being responsible. So I'm like, I've got to remember to take my canvas bags. You've got to be responsible. Bags. That's right. I've got to take my canvas bags in. But I love the fact that there are just so many gals that are making things and reselling them. Yes. That this, this is, is the option. perfect, perfect, perfect um, thing to be able to resell because it's mm -hmm. so utilitarian. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs it. And if you go back, you can do hashtag replay, but... Um, we just showed you how we dyed this bag, and we used a good man is hard to find, and it's permanent, so you don't have to worry about it. It's good old yummy one-step paint. Oh my gosh, I love how these people are saying, yes, I have mine in the trunk of my car. Y'all are so smart. Don't the uh, spreaders, the, now it's, the squeegees make it so much as it's better? It's so soft. Like it goes on so nice. It's almost like you're cheating. It's so easy. So anything, you can use any of the products that we have. And whether it's the ink or the chalk art or the etching cream or the ceramic paint with our squeegees. So you just oh, nice. clean them with soap and water and you can use them with any of the mediums that we use with our stencils. So we can use the squeegees with the etching cream too? Yes. Nice. So um, this stencil, guys, is they're on our website. The be, make your be, may, may your words be like honey should already be on the website. And then if you're interested in getting the tools, um, you can just go under tools on a makerstudio.com and they're listed right there. The bundle's Yay. right there. Now you can switch over and go to your, your small one when you've got to get in those little places. I could just 
get some stuff on it. It's different to load it. I think we may need, have you got your, uh, where's the stylus? Right here. Wanna do some copper on his booty? No, it's actually right here. Oh, I see the leg. Yeah. So before you lift up your stencil, you just wanna make sure that you burnished everything in and that you don't have any holidays. Holidays is right actually there. an area to where the, the top of the U, there we go. Ta-da. Love this. When I'm working on a bigger design, I can't always see my holidays. All right, I'm gonna hand that over to you. Okay. You gonna peel? Ta-da. So sweet. It's it, it's it never gets old. I mean, no, as far as it's now, you know what I would do? I think it would be fun to come back and allow this to draw. Yeah. And then let's lay the stencil down back over this and, and add copper. The, add the uh, copper, yes, mm -hmm. on top of it. I said gold, but we were actually using the copper. Mm -hmm. So I would add some. Um, I would add some copper to his belly, mm -hmm. and then some copper detailing in the some leaves. Depth, yes. I think that would be so cute. Oh my gosh! So yes. great. Yes. Don't y'all love that? Is that not the best? So now we've got our bag to be able to take to Aldi's and Whole Foods or wherever Yay. wherever your, your favorite place to shop is. And let's um, let's do these let's do these adorable little um, let's do honey these jar. adorable little honey jars. Now, so cute. Just FYI, we did get these. Um, you can get them on discount at Hobby Lobby, but the original price is two ninety nine. We love doing hacks, by the way. We, we go to Hobby Lobby, Target, Walmart. Um, this is just a, a $2.99. You could etch this. I love Michelle's idea, but I like the white. I do. I love the, so I love the white because it pops, but if you're a more subtle person, the etching would be more subtle. Yes. But either way, yes. it is a great little the, hack. To me, this makes it look like it came from Williams-Sonoma now. It's super cute. Yeah. So like when you're putting together, um, like maybe a gift for somebody mm -hmm. and you want to be able to give them some tea and um, then put the honey in it. This yes. would be the best gift. It would be so cute. Love it. So, so cute. All right, so let's show everybody what we did with this. Are okay. you ready? Yeah. So, um, here's our stencil. This one. This project, guys, I'm just gonna tell you, this stencil has so many cute projects yeah, it does. that you can do with it that are so versatile. I think that's what makes a stencil um, a good value. I would agree. With and what it's like, oh my gosh, it? look at all the different projects that I can yes. do. But there are options. So we're gonna set that one over here and we're gonna lay this baby down. I'm just gonna lay this stencil right on it and make sure that I burnish out any bubbles. And we used um, white ceramic paint for this project. So that way guys, if you're not familiar um, with the ceramic paint, it allows you to be able to use it on glass mm -hmm. as well as ceramic or plates that you, we do suggest because of using it and being able to wash it that you probably bake it. And um, thanks Pat, Pat's loving the bag and the honey jars. Are they not the cutest? I know, I'll, I'm all about going to the farmer's market. Um, do most of y'all have farmer's markets in your city that you shop at? And I'd, I'd love to just know who, who goes to them um, who shops to them, but I love getting fresh vegetables and fresh fruit mm -hmm. in the summer because it's so hot and we will eat outside a lot of times, even right after we go to um, the farmer's market. But we love it. Y'all just share with us and tell us. How can I see? Um, oh my gosh, guys, y'all are the best. We've already had 28 shares. That's awesome. Y'all are so great. Everybody wants the stencil and the tools. They better. Like the giveaway of the century. The giveaway of the century. Is Amy for, gone crazy. For, I have gone crazy. The um, yes, Cheryl, you would totally if you haven't done that. The the one step paint is so easy, and the fact with these pots, I'm try this it one makes I it. I haven't used this tool yet. Yeah, Michelle's having like fun. I like that angle, and I think it's going to go on really nicely. I love the stylus. 
I love the fact that we've got an, a smaller edge here to be able to get up in the corners and mm -hmm. stuff. And, and then the one other is one is just slightly more flattened. Blunt. Yes, yeah, so that like way it. it allows you. And remember, you can work with two colors. So one here and one here before you actually have to go and, and clean it. Yeah, buddy. See, the stylus needs those edges right yes. there. But this is so cute. really nice going around a rounded surface. Wendy goes to her farmer's market in, in Florida. Hey, Sylvia. Yes, well, Dixie, it's best to use the ceramic paint on glass and, and ceramic. So it's really best to... Unless you don't want it to be permanent. Yes, if you wanted to, you could use chalk art and then just wipe it off. But for me, especially if I'm going to give this to, as a gift to somebody. I want it to stay on. Or maybe to resell it. You could put some local honey in this. Oh, that would be so great. And in fact, the jar is only $2.99, and then on discount, it makes it, it's a deal. Bum, ba -da -dum, bum, ba. And so fun. Oh, Laurie, thanks for sharing. Lucky there, y'all. So cute. So simple. So cute. So fast, so and perfect. Look how cute. Now, what I, what I would do is I would go on and take this and take the cork out and put it on a cookie sheet and put it in my oven at 325 and bake it for 25 minutes. Make it, let and it cure. Yes, that way it's gonna, it's gonna make it cure a lot faster than having to just cure on the glass. Mm -hmm. And then that way it would. This is, is this not the cutest hostess gift? Now, especially with summer, I don't know about y'all, but I use honey on not only my tea, I use it in my cooking and mint and everything. So I like using I like using honey as a sweetener. I like it better yes. than sugar. I like yes. it better than agave. It's yeah. my favorite. So, yes. I'm a honey girl. I am too. It's good for you. All right. So we've got one more project we want to be able to show you. And I'll make sure that I am not messing up my project. <laughs> Because sometimes your fingers get in the way. Yes, let's they just do. Let's be real. All right, so let's let's look at all the other cute things on the stencil. It's just packed with all kinds of um, projects that you can do. So we're going to take the You Are the Bee's Knees. You Are the Bee's Knees. And we were Make shopping. Awesome little tea towel. This is also um, an adorable. Now, this is really thick. This is, is from Target. It's a really nice one. It's a really thick towel. And it's let's big. check out, you've got, do we have, you've I got have the it. other one. All right, mm -hmm. so this is a flower sack kitchen towel from Target. Um, it's $3.99. So now, and you it know. it is really large. It is really large. Like. Look at this. You could dry a lot of dishes with this baby. Like that's Yeah, look at that, big. it's really big. So it really makes for a really nice gift it's and something that you towel. can enjoy yourself. Because mm -hmm. we love, we don't like plain towels. We like customizing them. And this is just so cute. Because that's I think how we say Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, so let's show them how to do this. All right. Love it. And I love the fact that it's got the secondary color at the base. I do, too. Which acts as a really very artistic. That. Perfect colors for this stencil. Perfect colors. Perfect colors. I love it. That so, honey. Yes. Golden color. Yes. Perfect. And so now we are going to be working with our chocolate color, our brown gel ink well, I on, fa on fabric that's called Well I Swanee. And that's going to allow you to be able to do an additional project with a stencil that is so fabulous. I want to find center. So you'll notice Michelle went on and flattened out the whole thing. You don't want to use it folded. Nope. Because it might just bleed through. We have our table covered. I am cutting our stencil right along the gray. I don't want to cut any of the mesh part unless I'm on a cut line. Oh my gosh, Margie got some local cinnamon creamed honey. <gasps> that sounds divine, cinnamon Margie. Cinnamon is my favorite. Oh my gosh. Like it's my absolute favorite Hi, spice. Hey Renee, cutie patootie, saw that picture of your cute son. He looks just like you, by the way. Hey Dixie. I am lining this up right. Sylvia, this was not in the dollar spot. They actually have an area that is called Hearth and Hand. And um, it's this is their flower sack kitchen towel. Yes. But we do love the dollar section. We do. Um, at Target. We that's like our, a dollar section. That's our favorite place. We like a dollar section anywhere. anywhere. <laughs> 
Yes. Like, that's... if we can find a dollar section, we're in. Uh -huh. oh, he, yes, Renee, he is totally your mini-me. Um, Dixie, don't you love this detail? We were just saying, we love the fact of this kind of golden color mm -hmm. com combined with more of an ecru. It's really pretty. Just goes along with the fact that you are the bee's knees, which is so cute. You are the bee's knees. So now we are, um, we're gonna use our squeegee again. Like, this is too easy. It's so fun. Too easy? Wendy puts her flower sacks in tea and lets them sit for 24 hours. Yeah, that would yes. be totally cute. That yes, would make a, a great color. color. Yes. Ooh, do you know how pretty that would be in that hibiscus tea we like to drink? Yes. Ooh. Oh my I'm gosh. I'm gonna try that. Um, Tracy's saying that they're putting in a one to three dollar section up front at Walmart now. Oh. oh my gosh, we gotta go there. Oh no. Oh no, we're gonna be in trouble. More places to shop. So guys, I don't know if you're noticing too, we're using all of our new tools that are so fab. We've got a multi-angle uh, squeegee, our single angle, and then we have our stylus that allows you to be able to get in all of the Tiny nooks places. and cran crannies and and makes it a lot easier. We're all about making tools easier and you can clean them, wash them, of course, use them over and over again. Mm -hmm. But it's really more like silk screening, which is kind of what we're doing. They're a really yummy rubber. Like they are so, or silicone, like they're just awesome. And they've got a good weight to them. They feel really good in your hand. Now see, my suggestion would be when you get close to the edge like this, to do the stylus. switch over. Yes. Did we switch wash over. the black off of it? I'm like, I didn't know if I'd washed it. That way you don't worry about having to turn, you know, angle and get your hand, yeah. do your, arm and it's just a lot easier to work with. Love that. Guys, for real, if you love this stencil, you need to, you don't need to wait too long. Mm -mm. We're, we're, the exciting part is we're growing. Always. A maker studio is growing and we're all the time coming out with new projects, new product, and we will have this um, this project and the recipe card on the website. So that way you can kind of see the step outs and how we created this adorable tote bag. But now we have people from all over the world that are buying our products. Mm -hmm. The part that makes it exciting for us too is um, the scriptures. And yeah. just the positive message that we try to have as a company with our stencils. A lot of companies, they get, they get kind of nasty sometimes I think and we just try to keep really positive messaging. We want to be uplifting and yes. encouraging. Yes, we uplifting and encouraging and especially um, using scripture. So Dixie's just now popping on and she's like what is Michelle using? Th Dixie this is, this our, is new our new stylus, stylus tool. You're gonna have to get it. If you go to the website under tools we have um, we have a brand new angle. This is our single angle squeegee then we have a multi-angle squeegee that allows you to be able to have a lot of different shapes and get down into the crevices on things. And then this is our, um, our stylus squeegee that allows you to be able to get down in the crevices. You think we're good in here? I think so. I was just looking at that. I went in both directions. Okay, good. I'll leave you alone. Too cute. You are the bee's knees. I love this. How When you lay this down, if you go to Charge and get this towel, then it's fun to be able to have it to where that's the demarcation. Yes. That place. All right, we've got that's one more fits. project we want to be able to show you that is fun and easy. And you see, that would have gotten on our towel. That's why you need to make sure that you're working on single, single. layer. Yes, so we're going to let that dry for two hours. And then we're going to heat set it with our iron. And mm -hmm. so that way, put a Dry piece of cloth iron. on it. And then, so that way, if you wanted to, so let's say this is dried for a couple of hours. I could flip mm -hmm. this. That's what I do when I'm working on towels. I just take the other side of flip it. Flip it. And then just heat it, run your iron over it for a good four or five minutes, no steam and then allow that heat to really set into the fabric. And then you wanna wash it in a cool, um, a cool washing machine, cool water cool cycle. Water. And then that way, 
these, if you if you go to Target and get this, then that way it has just a little area here that you can just hang it up and let it dry. It's pretty great. I'd keep it out of the dryer if I was I would you. too. All right. Fun, fun, fun. All right, friends, I'm cutting open the black. We are going to use one step paint for this project with this beautiful, and this is also from the same location um, in the Target store. It's $12.99. It's a really heavy rolling pin. You want to just show them that? Yeah. So, guys, if you're not familiar, we have the one step paint from our sister company, Amy Howard, and it's on the site, and we've got like almost 50 colors. They are divine. Divine. We, they're yummy, and you can use them for all the projects. And so, um, I can get it open. Can you just turn it? All right, so we may, should we get another one? I might have we, to. We're not real strong. I might need Jean. Okay, go over there. There it goes, there it goes, there okay. it goes. Okay, okay. Yay! Woo! All right. Everybody clap for me, even though I can't hear you because Sometimes I struggle. <laughs> so the great thing about the One Step Paint is that it doesn't have any VOCs and it allows us to be able to use it on a lot of different projects. You can use it on melamine and you can use it on fabric. So if you're just now tuning in, we actually did a project. Please go back and watch the beginning tie because tote. we tie dyed this tote with our One Step Paint. And it's absolutely fabulous. It's something that we're all gonna be using at the grocery store and the mm -hmm. farmer's market. So. Somebody's asking, when will the dragonfly be back in stock? Probably in about three weeks. Um, we're really good about staying on top of getting them back into um, getting them ordered again. But this is a great stencil to be able to have until the dragonfly comes Absolutely. Because the possibilities are endless. Michelle, they're clapping for you. Oh, thanks, They're friends. virtually clapping for you. I appreciate you so much. I actually cut the inside of my hand with a crowbar this weekend working on my own house. And so I don't really have a whole lot of strength in my hand presently. We also did this Be Kind on a little chalkboard. We'll be putting it on the website. It's the cutest. You can go, if you see it, if you go to the website right now, this is just the cutest sign that you can do with the chalk art and be able to put in your kitchen. So cute. I would. Okay. I was like, I would. Yeah. So typically when we are working with one step paint, we'd like to use one of our little foam dome brushes so that we do not oversaturate the design. So I am going to load up the foam dome with the paint and then I'm just going to work the paint on a piece of cardboard so I can get it worked into the sponge, but not put too much in the design because I don't want to overdo it. And I'm going to do an up and down motion. Lynn, we're right there with you. The wood. Pat, Pat loves the stencil. Tracy loves these stencils. Guys, and what's even more exciting is that um, with a giveaway today, if you share this video, we've had tons of people already share the video, That's but right. if you share this video today, your name goes in for a drawing on Wednesday. We'll announce the winner that we are giving away the tote bag, the stencil, and all of our new tools that we introduced today. That's crazy. Tracy, I love the idea of a hummingbird or a turtle. We don't have that right now. But we I could totally do a cute a little hummingbird. hummingbird. All right, friends, here we go. Reveal and peel. Which is so fun to be able to do so many cute, simple things like this. Okay. Everybody is loving bees. Ah, These yes. would be so cute just standing up in your kitchen. Yes. You could do different designs, too, on your wooden spoons. You can paint the ends of your wooden spoons because the one step allows you oh, to be able to so use. That is so fun too. Oh, it's so cute. Mm -hmm. it, and it's so cute. Um, so Dixie, you do not have to prime the rolling pin at you all. You don't. No. If it was an old rolling pin, you might want to give it a good wash. Yes, of course, but these are brand new. Um, I know, Pat, we went crazy. We were just saying this is the Amy Goes Rogue today. That's right. Um, I actually said Amy went wild, but I don't think I went wild. I just <laughs> kind of went rogue. She just went rogue. Yeah. She always goes rogue. It's in her DNA. Oh, my gosh. Becky, just bought this stencil and the tools. You're not going to be sorry. Mm -mm. We, we absolutely. They're so a, great. This is a huge stencil. It's great. There's so many different projects oh, so um, on there. And so Susie's cute. like, you make me a better crafter. Oh, my gosh. Y'all make us better people. They're so fun. We love it. So. Thanks for joining us. So let's go over what we did today. 
So we made a Dorable awesome. Bee rolling, rolling pin. pin. So cute. We made, this is what I'm most excited about, is this my tote. brand new tote bag that's gonna go in the back of my car. It's going in Amy's car. <laughs> For real, <laughs> Jean's gonna tote. be so excited. That way I am not a fan of plastic, um, but it's huge. And we have the tote bags on the website Yay! now. So that way it's the website name is www a makers studio it's plural a makers studio.com and so the totes should be under tools too tools or to surfaces look. tools are, oh no, you know what it'll be under surfaces mm -hmm. the and then the other thing that we introduced oh, look washed. at this hold on oh yeah those we gotta get babies. we gotta show them so then we showed you how to create an adorable hostess gift or something to, that you can have and enjoy in your home because i love my honey and my tea oh yeah um, and, but this would be a great hostess gift for somebody or if you sell things on Etsy or whatever. Um, and yes, Debbie, you do need to pr heat press the tote mm -hmm. as well when you're finished. Yes. And then what else did we make? We did That's our tote. That's all we made. Tote, we did our tote. This, and our honey. towel. Our towel. Oh, our towel. Those are back there drying. <laughs> and then this that is another one of our, our Tarjay hacks. So, so we just love this honey color that it goes so great Perfect. with the honey. And we got this at Target, so we love doing hacks at Target, so that Always. way everybody can go and get them. And um, I want one of the little spoons. Oh, so Tracy, we got that. They that was come on discount. together. Like, and it, yes, they it's, come together. Look at that. You buy it like this. Yes, it was at Hobby Lobby, and they had a discount. So that way you can, when you shop there, that way you'll be able to customize it with the ceramic paint. I'm like, they're so cute. So cute. So be sure, share this video, tag three friends. And we want to um, we want to give you some free stuff, and then we're going to pay to ship it to you. We're so. going to bless you with a big old happy. You're going to have so much fun, and then we're all going to celebrate the winner on Wednesday. That's so, right, guys. We hope you have an incredible Monday that you enjoy. Just enjoy today. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the little details. Try not to let the problems get to you too terribly much, and um, just celebrate it. It's summer. I'm a summer girl. I love beautiful weather. She's I, ready for the warmth. I'm ready for the warmth. I was so excited. I went swimming for the first time yesterday. <gasps> Jean came down here and was working. Was it warm? And, and I turned on. It was, it got warm. <laughs> it got my, warm. My kids keep taking the polar plunge. They're in in the 60s. And oh. I'm like, oh, no. No, mm. no. <laughs> it was so funny. I love Magnificent Monday, Tracy. I love that. Um, but I turned on um, uh, The Greatest Show, The Greatest Showman. I turned on The Greatest Showman. I'm sure my neighbors thought I was crazy. And I um, sing every turned song. it up really loud. So I'm like, I'm singing and I'm paddling and I'm getting my exercise in. I so love it. Was it. Great. Um, you guys are the bee's knees. Gretchen, you're the best. Y'all are so sweet. We, we love, love our tribe. We love the fact, if you've never watched us before, we're just so excited Welcome. that, um, that you found us. You have found your tribe. You have found women. I know we do have some guys. But we, you have found women that love making things with their hands. They love blessing other people. They love giving gifts. They like making hostess gifts. They like creating because it's food to their soul. Absolutely. So, um, guys, Tracy, we're in Memphis, Tennessee. So we ship everything of our out of our logistics company um, from Memphis, Tennessee, all over the world. That's so sweet. To it say. is. It's so sweet. We love it. So have a fantastic Monday, everybody. Share this video because you want to be able to. Um, we've turned into a hive, not a tribe. <laughs> that is I so love that. cute. Mm. Now we're a hive. Mm. So, so great. Oh, we're we're so excited. These new guys. It's just like our little family's growing, growing and growing. We love that. All right, guys. Have a fantastic Wednesday. Mwah. Smile. Show other people you love them. Bye.